Cabaret celebrates its 40th anniversary in Hollywood. The red carpet was rolled out Thursday night and fans from across North America lined the bleachers for the premiere of the newly remastered musical film that made Liza Minnelli a star Liza and an Minnelli. Oscar winner as the kickoff to the Turner Classic Movie Channel's annual film festival. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Joining Minnelli was co-star Joel Grey, himself a supporting Oscar winner in 1973 for playing the enigmatic MC of Berlin's Kit Kat Club. Directed by dance maestro Bob Fosse in 1972, the film version of the Broadway play won a total of eight Oscars, but all but disappeared in the years since its release and was almost lost for good. Well, the problem with not seeing it that often was that it was damaged. The film was damaged, and Warner Brothers restored it. So now you'll see what Bob Fosse really did. And we were sent to Germany, and we took chances. <laughs> we did anything we wanted to do. And it was it's dark, and it's sexy, and it's musical, and it's divinely decadent. Set during the rise of the Nazi party in 1930s Germany, Cabaret tells the story of a doomed romance between a club singer and a visiting English academic in between raunchy song and dance numbers and anthems to the forthcoming Socialist Reich. Film critic Leonard Malton says the sum of its parts is behind Cabaret's enduring popularity with film buffs. Cabaret has meat on its bones. It's not just a frivolous Hollywood musical. There's nothing wrong with that. But this film has substance because of the, the uh, subject matter, the time period in which it takes place, and because of the artistry of Bob Fosse, who directed it, and everybody involved with the movie. But in a town where everything old can be new again with just a little tweaking, Manelli says no to any remakes. This is a town that's known for doing remakes at the drop of a hat. Is this a film that you think should be remade? And if it is, who, never? No, no, I mean, I think it would be, and they can try, but you know, it's like Arthur. You wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't. Digitally restored, Cabaret served as the opener for the third annual TCM Fest, which will showcase dozens of classic hidden gem films to some 25,000 viewers on big screens all across Hollywood over the next four days, before making their way to home audiences via the cable channel. In Hollywood, Scott Edwards, CBSNews.com.